good afternoon everyone welcome to the channel in today's video i will explain the formulas using which we can easily calculate the output shape of convolutional deconvolutional and cooling layers that are usually used in cnns and i will specifically show this for 2d input so basically uh, the image kind of image data so let's get started so at first i want to show the formulas then i will explain this in code so let's first see the formula of convolutional layers so the formula looks like this so this is the output shape if is the input shape you can use i if you like but normally I use I remember it like this so f minus k plus 2p divided by s then plus 1 is the output of this so here o is the output shape f is the input shape k is the kernel size s is straight and p is padding usually these are the parameters that are used there are some others that can also be used but I ignore those for example dilation so dilation means the space between the points of kernel I, I did not consider that one for this formula so this is the formula of convolutional layers in CNN now the next formula is for deconvolutional layers which looks like this so with the output shape is tried multiplied by f minus 1 which is the input plus k kernel size minus 2p padding and finally the formula for cooling looks like this so output is equal to input minus kernel size divided by stride plus 1 with the output uh, plus 1 with the output of this fraction so in case of deconvolution I ignored dilation and output padding for keeping it simple and here also I ignored padding in the formula of cooling because cooling is usually used after convolutional if you see the neural networks so mainly the padding is ca taken care of in convolutional layer so I ignored that term so these are some simplified formulas of these three layers uh, that are usually used in this manner so now let's uh, look at the examples to understand it a little bit better so at first I want to show the example of convolution so this is the formula that uh, that we show that we have seen uh, in the previous slide so let's look at an example so I imported torch and also and then from torch then I created two random outputs so here the shape of the output looks like this which is in the BCHW format so batch size number of channels this is height and width so last two are basically the pixel dimension of the image this is just a random noise and in case of input 2 I just changed the width so for the first input the pixel dimension is same but in the second input the pixel dimensions are different so then I created a convolutional layer in enter from 2d so where input channel is 3 same as our input output channel will be 16 kernel says I have provided 4 instead 2 and padding 1 then I provided both these two inputs to our convolutional layer and the output shape looks like this now let's use this formula so for input 1 f is 64 kernel size 4 padding 1 so 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2 straight 2 so if you calculate then we get 32 so in this case like uh, the input size or height and width is same 64 and 64 but if I give 
we now focus on input 2 where it's different so first one is quite same as this one second one uh, the 64 is replaced by 128 so the output becomes 64 so we can see 34 64 here and 32 32 here now you can also uh, use different strides different current size also different padding for uh, calculating these outputs but uh, that is very complex usually not used so let's say for example instead of integer we can use tuple here so instead can be let's say 2 4 so in that case for input on this will be 60 because uh, like 2 4 mean so we are using 2 for height and 4 for width so for width this will be divided by 4 and then so how to calculate this 64 minus 4 6, 62 divided by 4 so 15 15 but something fraction the fraction will not be calculated 15 plus 1 will be 16 so we will get 16 here so but I have kept it simple so in this case the pixel of height and width are not same we can see 64 and 128 the channels in the output shape will be equal to the number of output channels indicated in the convolution operation so output channels is 16 in the convolution layer so in the output the number of channels will also 16 and batch size will be the same as the input so this is how convolution the output shape of tensor can be calculated using the convolution formula in CNN now let's move on to the deconvolution so this is the formula of deconvolution case multiplied by f minus 1 plus k minus 2p this is the stride input shape tunnel size and padding now let's look at the example so the input shape are same for both inputs and I have also kept this parameter same, just replaced convolution with uh, deconvolution or transpose convolution in PyTorch. Then we provide these inputs to deconvolutional layer and we get output and shape look like this. Now let's use the formula to understand. So we have stride is equal to 2, uh, input for input 1, 64 by 64, so same for height and width. So 64 here, then candle size is 4, padding 1, so 2 multiplied 1 is 2. So if you calculate, we get 1 to 8. This is the 1 to 8, 1 to 8 because uh, pixel dimension is same. But for input, uh, again, this is the equation for same pixel, pixel dimension. And for input 2, first one is same as this one because it has the same input as this one. But for width, we replace 64 by 1 to 8. Then we get 256. So here yeah, it is not equal. Again, you can use different stride, different patterns for height and width. Then we can, you can obviously calculate the size. Everything uh, they will not be like this. They will be different. Here also the number of channels in the output shape will be same as number of channels in here mentioned in the con transpose uh, 2D. Okay, so this is how we can calculate the output shape of deep convolution layers and finally uh, the pooling layer so okay so i forgot to mention one thing uh, these are the usual parameters that are used but you can use some additional parameters like dilation which is again the space between kernel points and also output padding so after receiving the output if you use output padding then the size will change it will increase a little bit uh, depending on how much padding you are using so but those are not usually used so by default the dilution is one that means uh, there is no space between the kernel points and the output padding is zero by default here finally let's focus on pooling so this is the formula for pooling f minus k divided by s plus one i ignored the padding part so i didn't mention it here i also didn't use it in my example so 
f is the input condenser is strike so let's uh, now look at so again same input i did not change the input but uh, this will not be uh, input in uh, neural network practical example because uh, it is used pooling is used after convolution so normally this three stands for rgb so let's say this is a color image but uh, after convolution it will increase so it could be 16 32 or some other value 64 200 256 etc so but uh, let's understand it now so i have used kernel says 2 is straight 2 you can also use padding but i didn't uh, i ignored it so when we pass this two inputs through our pooling layer this is how we get we get so let's now use the formula so f is 64 again for first input kernel says 2 and state 2 if we calculate we get 32 here height and width are same but for input 2 height and width are different so this is same as this one but in this case 64 is replaced by 128 and we get 64 so this is 32 64 and this is 32 32 this is the different different height different width and pooling does not deal with the channels output tensor will have the same sort of channels as input tensor we can see here this is 3 same as this one same so this is how we can calculate the output shape of uh, okay two layers convolutional deconvolutional and pooling layers in cnn and this is uh, used is in PyTorch because I use PyTorch in my research. I do not know if TensorFlow has the same format or something different. You can try it out, but these formulas are same. Calculation will be taken place in, in the same formula. So that's the end of this video. It is a short one. Thanks for watching.